Welcome! It's been a minute and you're probably wondering, Kevin, where did you go? Why have I not seen a video about wax recently? Well, I kind of took a break. I kind of got a little worn down. You know what I did? I played too many games at once. And when you play too many games at once, you're definitely going to, you know, disturb your life. I was on the clock and all I could think about is clicking, waking up, couldn't sleep right. Had to pull back the games. I decided to kind of start over and get rid of all the games I've played. Yeah, I started fresh. Some people might think, hey, you left Wax. Why did you leave? Are you gone forever? I didn't leave. I'm still here. I was just waiting for some opportunities to play some good games that are newer and that may be a little bit different. I am still waiting for that. I have got some people reaching out about playing their games, but then it just kind of fizzles towards the end there. And we'll see what happens. Once I get some games to play with some NFTs, I'll definitely show you. Here you can see I do still have money on my account, so I didn't leave altogether. I'm still here. If you go here, you can see resources. I still have 1,800 wax staked to my wallet, so I'm still here. <laughs> Hopefully we go through and get some people that are bringing some new games out soon to contact me and we can get this going. But I wanted to kind of talk about the games and what kind of was the final straw and what's going on and any games I might still be playing, anything like that. Fishing Lands, you know you've heard me very excited about this game. I played for a long time. I pretty much got everything maxed out I could. The admins just kind of basically left. They just let the server go. They stopped fixing things. The withdrawal broke and, you know, yeah, I, I can't really be that mad at them because, yeah, they were making a game, but I know they weren't making much money. Some people think you make millions of dollars on these games. Well, you think, you know, they might make a little bit of money in the beginning, but then if people aren't buying their drops they're not really making any money except for the trading on Atomic Hub. And if that's not really going that well, you know, you're getting a few dollars in sales every 24 hours, you're not earning any money, and then you need to do all this coding and everything. Uh, the game, great potential. I would still be playing it if it was functioning correctly, but you can't withdraw. Some of the stuff in the game's broke. You know the guys are gone because they're just not talking anymore and people are talking bad in the server. So Fishing Lands, RIP. Love that game, but it's gone. Someone maybe could make one similar. We'll see what happens, but we're just going to X this one out. Aquarista was another game I got into. I spent way, 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 way too much money in this game. And for some reason, the prices of the token were bad right out the gate. I don't understand because I feel like I probably was in the top 2 to 3% of having the best setup. And I wasn't able to sell tokens right away. And they even didn't have that much of a token sale. So something was weird about this game from the start. I try i sold some of my cards but not many at you know probably less than a dollar for most of them when i paid hundreds and hundreds to get in so big loss there it happens nova pangea i was playing for a long time i was set up i was ready and then it took a while to release the token and i decided to kind of uh, stop playing just because it was becoming very demanding on my wallet and I couldn't always buy stuff I could here and there but it was very difficult because without having a game moving forward to take money from another game to put it in this game it, it just wasn't working so because of that I decided to go through and sell out a Nova Pangea and I still do have some money I need to withdraw they have one of those withdrawal systems that you hate you know you can't take it all at once. I understand it is what it is. People do what they do. But when games do that, it kind of annoys me. So there's that. But, you know, game still has great potential. If you're still playing, love to know how it's going for you. It was one of those things like it, I really like the game. I just wasn't sure what to do. And because it was time demanding, you know, daily, I had to make sure I was doing this and I was getting less of my other stuff done and crypto went down and everything happened. I decided to just say, you know, I'll stop for now. Maybe I'll come back in the future. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Castles. I love me some castles. I did end up 
also leaving here. Again, I wanted a clean slate of games, so pretty much got rid of all my cards here. And I do like the game. I think it was getting a little difficult with the dungeons and having multiple heroes and multiple equipment and then all this other stuff going in. It was a neat idea, and I really like that they are trying to push the envelope of what was happening. It's just for me, again... I wasn't really earning in it. I was kind of losing. And at the same time, there was nothing really earning me money because, you know, my Aqua Rista was a loss. So I decided to just uh, get out because I couldn't afford to continue to go on without depositing more. Mecha World. I had to say goodbye to FGL and remove from Mecha World. Uh, kind of the same thing, you know. Just wanted to start fresh, see what's out there. Wish them all the best. I'm still looking forward to their fishing game when it comes out. If you're watching this FGL, let me know and I will be playing that for sure. I have NFT Panda. Believe it or not, I still have all my pandas. Let's go ahead and feed them quick. They're hungry because I haven't been on much with this. But we'll go ahead and feed them and fix their stuff. The reason I have been hesitant to sell out of this game is first, pandas aren't worth that much. And second, I am such high rank that it would they'd restart. And once they restart, I feel like, you know, it's just it's too much work. I put too much time and effort into it. So because of that, I leave this game go. And there's that. So that's pretty much all of the wax games, everything. There's nothing that I'm playing right now other than this once in a while. I don't really log into wax much anymore. I've had people follow up about videos. And as I said, they do usually fall by the wayside. They change their mind at the last moment or something goes on or whatever. So I'm hoping I get some people that have some new games out. If you do, let them know about me. I'm looking for work. Hopefully we do get some new games coming through soon. I have one that I might be reviewing this week or next week. As long as everything goes through, that would be great. And another one, possibly, possibly. So I'm hoping on that one as well, but we'll see. I don't want to give too much away because, like I said, People keep changing their minds because of the economy, I feel. Lastly, we got Farsight. How is Farsight doing? Well, they kind of upset me. <laughs> the game was great. Everything was going smooth. And then they did the one thing that automatically makes me leave games. Do you know what that is? There, there's two things that automatically make me leave games. I don't know if these are like this. I don't know if I'm a NFT snob or what, but two things make me leave. When they put a huge tax to take credits out, which they did not do, that is a red flag and that annoys me because you've already earned the token. You've already paid your stuff. You should be able to take out one for one what you have. That wasn't the issue here. The other issue is CAPTCHA. They added CAPTCHA to Farsight. Why would you do that? It's supposed to be a game like EVE Online. I don't want to be solving CAPTCHAs. I'm not all about that. Pretty much I put all my stuff up for sale that was close by. And I'm logging in now for the first time in a long time. A lot of it sold. So I'm going to go back and move all my stuff from my other planet to my bank and sell the rest. And just be ready to sell out when the game starts unless they draw that back. And it is what it is. I'm not going to be solving captures for playing a game. That's that's not fun for me at all. That I don't know. Uh, maybe it's like an OCD thing. How do you feel about captures in game? Are you okay with them? Do you just deal with them? People are like, oh, it's cool. They make them like a little puzzle. No, I'm, I don't want to play a puzzle game. I want to play a space game. <laughs> right? Uh, you know, puzzle games, There, some people might like them. They're their own thing, but they're not needed in this genre. Yeah, yeah, this has been a crazy video. Hopefully you've stuck here. If you are playing any new games that you like, something that's come out recently on Wax or anywhere, to be honest, let me know down below and let me know what you like about it. What's something that's different? That's something I'm really looking forward to is stuff that's different. You know, someone that's just doing great. 
I haven't done any research in the last month in Wax, so I have no idea what's out there right now. I feel like the game slowed down, but maybe I just haven't been paying attention enough. So fill me in if you can, and I want to thank you so much for the view.